Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my 10 most favorite smartphones in my collection, and um, this is going to be pretty much an overview um, of why, which is basic. Oh, okay, what? Ow. But today we're going to be focusing on design, um, and just, I don't know, how iconic they are, and just stuff like that. Just, I don't know, overall design and crap like that. Look what she did to me, jeez. But yeah, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first we have this HTC Rhyme, and I know it's cracked, but it's a really cool design. I don't know why. But, I don't know, I just, I think it's a really, really cool design. Um, this is all three different colors, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this phone that I just really, really like. So, a little bit about this phone. It was released in 2011. It had 768 megabytes of RAM. It has a 5 megapixel rear-facing camera, which can record up to 720p in terms of video. Um... And it has 4 gigs of internal memory, which is actually not that bad. Alright, next up, I have to show this. I mean, it's in just really beat up condition, but I still have to show it. This is the iPhone 2G. It was released back in 2007, and I don't know, man. It's just a cool, iconic phone. Um, they're becoming more rare and they're becoming more expensive. Mine is shattered on the top, but somehow the shatters stop right there. Mine's running iOS 3.1.3. It has 8 gigs of internal memory and a 2 megapixel rear-facing camera that could not record video. Believe it or not, the first and the second iPhone or iPhone Z could not record video and that came out for the 3GS but anyways mine works perfect no LCD damage at all just cracked on the top <clears throat> it's in sort of beat up condition but I got it for thirty dollars so I don't care next up we have my most favorite phone in terms of design this is the Moto X4 um, released last year in 2017, this thing has 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. It either has a 16 or a 13 megapixel front-facing camera, as well as dual cameras in the back. And I gotta say, dude, this freaking camera lens looks like it was ripped straight off of a Rolex. Like, seriously. I don't know why it looks like that to me, but it does. Um... And man, this color is just amazing. But man, it's just so amazing. So there's a fingerprint scanner down here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a tape screen protector that I made. Don't ask why. Um, there's a microphone right there. There's one right there. It takes USB Type-C. Still has a headphone jack. Apple. And the power button is on the right side as well as the volume rockers. Um, and what's nice about that is that the power button is textured, so you won't be able to like really press a volume button if you want to turn your phone on or stuff like that, you know? Um, but yeah, it has dual LED flash on the back and then flash on the front as well, which is really, really cool. And the cameras are just amazing. Next up, we have my iPhone 6, which is jailbroken, on iOS 11.3. This came out, I believe, back in 2014. It has 1 gig of RAM, and mine has 16 gigs of internal memory. It's a really good phone, though. I like it. Essentially, the tweaks that I have on it are live photos. I have a uh, little X, which turns it into basically an iPhone 10. It puts all the gestures, it puts the home button, cylinder, which you can see like by that. But I mean overall it's a decent phone. I like it. Yeah. By the way, this one came from my mother when she upgraded to the 10. Next up, 
another iPhone. This is an iPhone 4S on iOS 7.0.4. I'll show you right now. It's a 16 gigabytes on 7.0.4. I can't really remember. I believe this came out back in 2010 or 2009. I really don't remember. Really good phone on iOS 7. Um, and what's nice about it is that since it's pre-iOS 7.1, it has all these square icons and stuff like that, like in the call app and stuff like that as well. So that's, so that's pretty cool. Um, I keep it in this case. I'm not taking it out because it's in mint condition. But yeah, I, that's about it for this phone. Next up, we have the Galaxy Nexus. This is made by Samsung, as you can see. Um, and even though it is a Galaxy device, it does run stock Android, um, which is cool. Um, it, I don't remember what this runs. I can't remember when, when this came out, but I believe it has either 1 or 2 gigs of RAM. Nothing less or more than that. Um, it's on 4.2.2. Maybe it may actually be able to get updates, but I don't know. I don't want to update it. Um, but overall, it's a really nice phone. Handles pretty darn well, um, especially because it's running stock Android. Wow, that was a bit of weird lag there. Anyways, nice phone. Wow. I am almost going to take back what I said about it handling pretty darn well. <laughs> but let's just put that over to the side for now. Next up, we have the first Nexus device that Samsung has made um and here it is it's running 4.0.1 or something like that i'll check for you guys um no oh, 4.1.1 this is a nexus s um and it's a decent little device too it's actually curved as well um as you can see the d display is actually curved and also this one is too I don't know if you can really see that. You can't really see it on this one, but it is curved just a tad bit. Not too much, but yeah, overall, this is a pretty good device as well. I believe this has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera, and I think the other one has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, but they're both pretty good devices. The Samsung Galaxy J5 2017. Um, I don't know. You may think this is a basic phone, but I don't know, man. I love this thing. I mean, it handles very well. It just has a really nice design on the back. Don't know why it's nice to me, but, I mean, just look at how those antenna bands cur curve over like that. Just, I don't know, I like that design a lot. Um, nope. <laughs> it's running Samsung Experience Home um, version 8.1. And this one is on Android 7. If you had the Pro version, you would be able to update to Android 8, but I don't, so oh well. The regular version comes with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory. And the Pro version comes with 3 gigs of RAM as well as 32 gigs of internal memory. Nearing the end of this video, we have my Samsung Galaxy S1 Vibrant. This is a first generation Galaxy S device, and it is still pretty darn good. Good enough that my dad still uses one as a main phone. Yeah, ridiculous, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still a pretty darn good phone. It has an, uh, what is this, an, a 5 megapixel rear facing camera, I believe, or an 8, I don't remember. It has a front facing camera as well. Um, it's on Android 2.3.4. I can't remember when this came out, but it's still a really, really good phone. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it for that. And last but not least is my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. I, I love this phone so much. So it has 6 gigs of RAM. Mine has 64 gigs of internal storage. And it's just an amazing device with the infinity display as Samsung calls it that display is one of the sharpest displays on any smartphone um, as of 2018 um, and it still looks amazing but yeah I guess that's going to be it for that 
So, yeah. Anyways, since I still have this out, I'm just going to keep it in my hand. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'll show more of my cat. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, I will, but subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more of this type of content. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.